Hello everyone, welcome again. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Kite plugin into PyCharm and also understand what exactly Kite is and how it will be really helpful for us in our Python development or developing test automation scripts using Selenium with Python. So let me search for Kite first. So if you just go to Google and search for kite.com, you will get this link here. So the first URL and Kite is a free AI coding assistant and code auto completion plugin, right? So if you have worked in any of the development IDs, for example, Eclipse or PyCharm, as we are using PyCharm with Selenium uh, for Python, so there is an auto completion that by default these editors provide. Now Kite is an enhanced version of it. So basically Kite plugin, what it does is it provides you a lot of AI powered code completions. So if you scroll down below, you will see that it, it is supported by so many different editors and languages and it has ML models which are trained on over 25 million files. And because of that, you can see the code completions within editors are really powerful. So if you are using any of these supported editors, Kite is the plugin that you should always consider for. So I have used it and I found it really good to have it in the editor and that's why I'll be installing it in PyCharm and we'll be walking you through how to install it. I'll provide the download description or downloading how to download the Kite uh, installable, how to install it and configure in the description section of this video. So please go through and um, download Kite with all those details that you will find in the description section. Now let's go ahead and uh, download Kite. So if we before we download, let's see the pricing of Kite. So Kite is available in free and paid version both. Now we'll be using completely free version. We do not need any pro version because free version is sufficient for us to see how Kite will be helpful for us and use it accordingly. But if you are an organization or a developer working in an organization, they might consider buying the pro version. So to download the kite, you can just download the free version. So click on this particular link. It will redirect you to the download. So it will start the download on the platform. So basically I'm on Windows. So it will, it has started download. If you're on Mac, you can go to Mac link or Linux link to download the installable accordingly. All right. So I have already downloaded. I'll cancel this download and go the folder where I have downloaded the kite and then we'll start with the installation, right? So here I have this kite.setup, uh, kite setup.exe available. So to in order to install, double click this particular file and the, so it will ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You can say yes, because we want to install this. So we need to make changes and it will store and it will start the installation process and this process takes a little while so please be patient while the installation of kite progresses further so once the installation of kite has completed on your computer you will be redirected to this particular window and you can register for kite your email or you can continue without email as you can see the link here that it allows you to continue without email these two options are important so the first one is install kite for all supported editors or you can choose which editor plugins to install right so if i choose the second one then i have to go to the editors and uh, from the editor i can install the plugin or even through the copilot or the kite uh, installer uh, which I'll explain in just next screen uh, how you can go ahead and install plugin from the kite interface or the PyCharm interface so since I want to install kite for PyCharm only I will choose the editor plugins to install 
and then I'll click on continue without email. Okay, so now I'm here in the kite setup. Uh, it has checked the spy charm, so we need to do the integrations and we need to check that this integration works fine and then click on install right so you just check it because kite whatever kite instance we have installed on our machine needs to integrate properly with the uh, editor which is pycharm and that's why we are on this particular step so just keep it as is and click on install now kite is ready to go so what we need to do is we need to restart our editor and install the kite plugin within the editor because we haven't installed the kite plugin yet so we'll install the kite plugin either from pycharm or we can also go to the kite copilot so the next two options so show kite icon in the system tray and then automatically integrate kite when new editors are installed okay so i'll keep them as is and then click on let's go and now this is the kite copilot which will help you to install the editor uh, or, or plugin within the editor so if you want to install the plugin for pycharm go to the settings right so in the right hand side in the corner you will see the cogwheel click on the cogwheel and from here you will see that you will be able to choose the theme options etc the window and in the plugins the next tab is the plugins tab and from the plugin tab i can directly select the pycharm plugin and click on install if uh, once this option gets enabled so it is loading the plugins so let it load and i'll show you the other option so for example you do not install do not want to install plugin pycharm or the kite plugin for pycharm from here then you can open pycharm directly and from pycharm you can install this particular plugin so let pycharm load and i'll show you how uh, i'll navigate through where you need to go in order to install this kite plugin within pycharm okay so pycharm has loaded so in order to install plugins into pycharm go to file go to settings and from the settings menu you will see plugins menu right so click on the plugins menu if you want to see what all plugins are installed go to the install tab and you will see what all plugins are already installed in pycharm at the moment if you can't find the plugin that you that is there in the installed section go to marketplace and search for the plugin so for example i want to install kite I'll search for kite and you will see that kite AI auto uh, complete plugin is available there and I can simply click on install button from here to install kite within PyCharm or I can go to this uh, kite copilot right and click on the install from here so either ways whether you do it uh, from within the PyCharm or from the copilot it will do the same thing okay so let me click on install from the kite interface here and let me close pycharm so that conflict as such and once this plugin the kite plugin is installed in pycharm we'll relaunch pycharm and i'll show you how the kite auto uh, code complete works so now you can see the pycharm has the kite plugin installed so now we can simply close this window launch pycharm again and now kite plugin for pycharm should be available within pycharm so let me check the kite plugin so i'll go to file go to settings in the plugins i should be able to see the installed plugin so kite ai code autocomplete plugin is now in the installed section in the right hand side if i go to the plugin settings i can disable or uninstall it from here and if you scroll down you will get all the information about the kite plugin within the pycharm okay so i'll simply click ok and let me create a new python file and i'll show you kite in action so let me name it as test this test.py file 
and now once this pie charm has completely loaded you can see in the right hand side corner here the kite icon is available so which means that kite plugin is available in PyCharm and it's communicating properly with the kite engine right so first thing we did is we installed kite engine so we downloaded kite engine and installed it on our machine then we installed the plugin in PyCharm which is automatically uh, during the installation process got integrated with the engine all right so that's the overall process and the kite icon in the right hand bottom here shows the presence of the kite or the kite plugin and i can go to the integration settings or kite engine settings from here and you can see that it is a free account as such now let's see how the auto completions or the code suggestions will work in uh, with with kite so say for example i'll say from selenium import web driver right so you can see that this is the module suggestion from the kite this little icon is shown that this is the suggestion given by the kite so i can simply double click and so the warnings here i can change it to just to highlight only syntax and the warnings will be gone right so that's how the kite plugin will help us in the auto completion so this is the first line itself but as we go along and write more code there will be a lot more auto completion documentation that i'll be showing you uh, along this particular course so that's all for this tutorial on installing kite on your machine and then installing the plugin within pycharm and configuring kite for the pycharm so hope this was helpful and see you in the next class thank you